I choose to let truth have the final word, even though lies are much easier to believe. I fight in a daily battle against anxiety that tells me that I'm not enough. I'm not beautiful, I'm not successful, my voice doesn't matter, and my words don't hold value, and I can't even say that anxiety says that I'm not loved and cherished, because anxiety takes a step further into my insecurities and says I'm not even able to be loved. I'm not even capable of giving love. I should just hang up my coat or throw in the towel or give up the hope of hoping to matter because I'm far from lovable, not even decent. Just breath and bones with density decreasing moment by moment, each minute of the day, every second of every hour, I hear my mind say, just stay in bed. Don't get up. Why would you add to the world? You're a burden. You're too much. You're too cliche, rhyming girl with world. You have nothing to offer. You have nothing to say. The songs they liked were a one-time thing. The videos will fade. Just stay in bed. Don't get up, don't brush your hair, don't eat, don't sleep. Just stare at the wall and think about the most awkward things you've ever said. Ruminate over the worst parts of your day. Start a cycle of pain, fear, and doubt where you can't function or process freedom or being freed from the weight that's on you heavier than shame, heavier than pain because it bears the reality of every negativity ever named. Don't text your friends. Give it weeks at a time. Don't answer your phone, let it ring. But push that little button so it rings on silent so people think you're busy changing the world. So people think you're busy writing songs when you're really in a dark, quiet room staring at a wall. I fight. Some would say to fight is to be free from all pain, but the reality is my fight is the ability to see my pain, to see my brokenness broken before a battle every day where I choose to let truth have the final say. I'm not asking my pain to never exist because without disgust, beauty could never exist. Without pain, I wouldn't understand healing and without being weighed down, I couldn't appreciate freedom. So when my mind starts to wonder and my thoughts start to scream, I let them have their moment to open the show because this gig doesn't pay a thing. Not my time, not my attention, not even a lousy applause. I write down the exact lies that my mind wants to tell and I let truth step up to the mic and be the headliner. Because my mind says I'm not enough. But truth says I don't have to be because I was made by the epitome of enough for me and he does his best work when I am weak. And my mind says I'm not beautiful and I'm too big and I'm too weird but truth says there's something wonderfully made about me and I can't get my truth from a scale or a mirror. My mind says I talk too much and I should just be quiet, but truth says what if there's a new season could, that could change the world and what if my story is the pilot? What if our minds are the biggest liars? Somewhere between anxiety, depression, and our character flaws, what if they're not yet trained to always tell us what we need so instead all we hear are despicable and disgusting things? And what if instead of being consumed with the fix, we sat in the hurt and the pain and the sick, we wrote down the untruths and the doubts and the worst, and we choose in a moment to let truth have the final word. Even when lies are easier to believe, when sad songs are more fun and isolation is more convenient, or even when it's too painful to break down day after day, but somehow it's easier than speaking up and asking for help, when panic attacks are easier to understand than peace, even though they tear us apart and leave us feeling weaker than the moment we started. I fight a daily battle and I make a daily choice in the discombobulated truth that is my world when I don't always believe it and even when I don't know how I choose to let truth have the final word.